puppy in the background here. Nice, beautiful Belgian Malinois. We can follow him out for a minute. How we doing on numbers? What's that? Nobody yet. Nobody yet. Ghost town. Everybody's at work. Well, for those who are going to be watching this uh, after we film it, we are out here at the United States Police Canine Association Region 1 Field Trials here in Coconut Creek, Florida. Beautiful day out. And what we are witnessing behind us here is the final leg of the four-day event, and that is bite work with gunfire. So this is a, a lot of points here uh, up for grabs. And uh, we have behind us a really light-skinned uh, or light-colored uh, uh, Belgian Malinois. Looks fired up. So it should be a nice bite coming up. But we're going to see the subject here crank off some blank rounds really loud gets the dogs fired up and they come in for the bite. So come on, slide up and let's take a, take a look at what's about to go down. All right, get ready. There's gonna be some shots fired and the dog's gonna go bite the bad guy. Ooh, nice launch, nice bite. Now what the question is, is will the dog let go? Beautiful bite from this dog. Will he let go? I think not. That's one command out. Second command, he did let go on the second command. A little sloppy on the finish, but he did let go. Thank God. Now, what's gonna happen here is the handler has to go up there and do a pat down of the subject. At some point, the subject is going to push the handler, at which point the dog is supposed to re-engage. Let's see if he does his job. There's the push. Another beautiful bite. That dog bites hard. One command out, failure to out. It's like on a second or third command. Boy, oh boy. It ain't easy. And that's what makes this job um, not easy. So dog failed to out, but hey, that's kind of par for the course. The dog says, hey, you put your hands on my dad, I'm gonna let you know what time it is. So we find the dogs get a little extra amped up, not only with the gunfire, but when the bad guy pushes the handler, gets the dogs fired up. They're biting with that much more intensity. And that's kind of par for the course in this event. It's really the name of the game. You can call this bite work with gunfire, but it really is will your dog out after gunfire and a push. And um, I would say the ratio is probably 30%, maybe even up to 50% of the dogs will not out uh, after this. So. All right, well, thanks everybody for joining us. We got a handful of dogs left coming out. We are again at the United States Police Canine Association Region 1 Field Trials. That's the best police canine handlers from across Florida, Georgia, and Alabama combined. All of them have come down here to Coconut Creek, Florida, where we are on the fourth day, the final day of the event, and this is bite work with gunfire. So what you're gonna see is a decoy or a bad guy come onto the field with a firearm. You're gonna see the handler come onto the field with his fully trained police canine dog. We're talking Belgian Malinois, Dutch Shepherds, German Shepherds. And then when the signal to start goes, the bad guy is gonna crank off two rounds of simulated gunfire, which point the dog is gonna run downfield, apprehend the subject. After the apprehension, the handler is gonna come downfield and tell the dog to let go of the bite. We call it an out command. At that point, the dog is supposed to out and let go, return back into a beautiful heel position. At that point, the handler is going to go up and do a full pat down of the subject. After he pats down the first side, he's going to go to the second side. When he pats down the second side, the subject is going to push the handler, at which point the dog is supposed to re-engage the subject. And once again, we're looking for one more beautiful out. Dog come back into a finish, exercise complete. At every stage of the game, there are points up for uh, how hard the dog bites, the intensity of the bite, how deep he bites, um, how good the decoy works the dog. Then, of course, big points on if the dog will let go when the handler says to out. So let's watch closely, come up tight. We got another beautiful German Shepherd, Sable, 
working line. So nice bite. Now will the bad guy, will the dog let go? So he let dog almost cheap shot at him in the ass. <laughs> so the dog let go of the bite and then try to re-engage on the, the subject's uh, like thigh. Uh, here comes another bite. Really nice bite. That's a very fast German Shepherd. A little cleaner out that time and exercise complete beautiful dog let's get steve on let's get steve Don't get me. oh yeah you're on your mic dips got to talk loud okay um, can't talk loud i'm old I have a scratchy voice <laughs> so this is steve sprouse uh retired after some almost 30 years 35 years 35 years with broward sheriff's office don't let him fool you his dad was with miami and spent the same amount of time at canine yeah. so we're both old timers <laughs> so i'm just following in these these giant footsteps um and i just came over to ask one simple question what's your preference belgian malinois or german shepherd neither uh -oh. I, look, I look at the individual dog not the breed Okay, there you go. See, that is the answer of a veteran in the game. He's not partial to any breed. It comes down to the individual That's dog. Exactly right. Do you think uh, the decoy here got bit in the ass on that out? I didn't, close. I, I didn't see it because I was looking through oh. the camera. And when old people look through cameras, they don't see too well. <laughs> well, it was a close call. That's for sure. So you heard it here from Steve Sprouse, uh, a legend in the canine world. And wow. uh, what was your, your, your last dog? Was a shepherd? The last dog was a mix, actually. Um, ah, yep. a little hybrid. So you look at the individual dog, not the breed, just like people. You look at the individual person, not anything else. There you go. So thanks, Steve, for joining us. And we'll, we'll probably, you sure. if you guys post in the comments below, you guys want to see us do a podcast and an interview with Steve and get some over 35 years of experience in police work and canine work, uh, then post in the comments below and we'll have him on a podcast. And we got a female handler up, so let's watch this. This is the one and only female canine handler in the competition. She absolutely smoked it yesterday. So pay attention, she's gonna kill it. From Lakeland PD, sending that dog coming in hot. This is what they call a fur missile. Nice catch, nice bite. Will he out? He rebit. He's not supposed to do that. Now, will he rebite again? He is supposed to bite, but only when mama gets pushed. Mama's gonna get pushed right now. Oop, it was a real push. Now, will he out? Yep, nice out. Ooh, another rebite. Mm. Don't worry about us. You've got to do your thing. Yeah. Don't worry about us. He's trained to move. <laughs> move. Find the shot. <laughs> yep. Uh, exercise complete. We are doing a live one, yeah. Yeah. How many people do we have watching? 78. All right. Only 78 people. Usually we have a little more, but that's okay. It's 10 a.m. People are at work. That's right. Well, she had a better run yesterday. Uh, nice dog. Basically, that dog saying, don't touch my mama. I'm going to bite you and bite you again. So it happens. Uh, she had a super clean run yesterday, uh, but probably lost some points today with those rebites. And we'll probably do one more uh, dog and then call it on the live because we got to get ready for tonight's main event and that is what we call demo night demo night is where all the police canine handlers that are part of this competition get in a big long uh, parade if you will of of the police cars light sirens and then we start doing individualized events uh, where each department comes out with their own creativity and puts on a show uh, we are participating in that event. I will be taking a bite from one of the police dogs 
and uh, we got a really cool event coming up. We're going to have a high-speed chase, a pursuit, a bailout, and, and a bite with some gunfire, of course. All right, let's uh, watch the next dog. 17, guys, 17. All right, so this is the guy in the number three spot. This is Ted Seeley, Lakeland PD. He's been doing this for oof, well over a decade, all black German Shepherd. Nice bite. We should see a pretty clean run here. Nice bite, full mouth bite. Pretty clean out. After the out, he wants the dog to drop to a down, which he did. Bad guy's gonna back up, and then the pat down will commence. The dog sniffing the grass a little bit. Comes to push. Looking for another clean out. All right, and that's the end of the exercise. Pretty clean run. Uh, the only thing I saw was dog kind of sniffing the grass a little bit. I don't know if they're going to hit him for points on that. It's up to the individual judge. Uh, but that's a pretty clean run. That's what we're looking for, the dog to out first time every time. And uh, again, it's, it's not easy to get these dogs to out after the gunfire and after um, the handler gets pushed. Dogs start to take it a little personal. Ted Celia uh, pulled a uh, pulled a muscle out there on the run. You see the the beautiful shepherd there, walking off with his uh, grand prize, the sleeve. That's what it's all about for them. They love that bite work. They love taking home the grand prize. And uh, I think that's it, folks. We'll go ahead and call it. Really appreciate it. Now, if you want to see a lot more of this up close and in person, make sure you stay tuned. As you guys always do, we have um, put together with the help of my amazing videographer, Mr. Jeremy. We've got all this footage, the behind the scenes footage, the up close and personal footage in high def 4K, baby. We're gonna see all the bite work, everything that led up to this. And we're gonna be following along with Lieutenant Jeremy Bertolino from Manatee County Sheriff's Office who entered in this competition as a novice, as a rookie to the event. And I don't wanna ruin it for you, but we'll just just say He's done a really good job, and he's a contender for, for something pretty special. So if you want to find out more about that, then highly suggest you stay tuned. We'll be uh, finished filming and editing and start that editing and try to get this video out as soon as possible. One more bite coming in. Oof. Hmm. It's a fired up little mount, that's what we call a pocket rocket. It's probably about 60, 65 pounds of muscle and teeth. Here comes a bite. Oof. It's fast. Another rebite. Mm. All right, exercise complete. Well, it didn't really end on a high note, but what can you do? Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.